Intrepid Maven is an exercise series, uh, relatively new, uh, started by uh, MARSENT, uh, Marine Forces Central Command. And the design of the exercise, uh, we're aiming to do at least four a year, once a quarter, uh, with uh, partners across the region. And the objective is to, uh, it is fundamentally a readiness building exercise, readiness building event, uh, readiness for bringing units from the continental United States uh, to train in the region. Uh, it's, it builds readiness for the partners that we happen to be working with at the time, in this case, uh, the Israeli Defense Force. And it also honestly uh, uh, builds readiness for uh, the Marsen headquarters and, uh, and our subordinate uh, task force uh, because just the act of, uh, of deploying Marines, bringing them into theater, getting them ready to go, I mean, that's a skill set uh, as well. You want to be able to integrate with whoever you're with, you know, any kind of victor unit. So you want to be able to displace your machine gun teams and set up an adequate support by fire, um, being able to actually clear rooms, clear houses, um, not hit IEDs, not get tripped up on things, and just overall go home safe. Mount is something that there's a million ways to skin a cat, so there's a million ways differently to do it, and the situation's always gonna change, so it's the more reps you can get in, the more practice, and the different mount towns that you can go to, the better and more proficient you're gonna be at them. Well, the Marine Corps remains uh, the nation's crisis response force, right? And, uh, and so, you know, at any time, uh, we could be called uh, into the region to work with uh, a variety of, uh, of partners in the region. You know, the United States has a lot of, a lot of good friends uh, in, in, in the region um, that we may have to respond uh, to assist. And working with them, I mean, we have worked thus far uh, with the Jordanians, uh, the, uh, the Emiratis, uh, the Kuwaitis, the Bahrainis, and now the Israelis. Uh, it, uh, I think it, it helps reinforce, uh, by visible demonstration, the United States commitment to uh, the region and, uh, and the Marine Corps' readiness to, uh, to come when called. So in the next few days we're going to be doing uh, LFAM, which is a live fire maneuver. We're going to have squads, and within those squads are going to be fire teams bounding in a field, and then we will have M240 Bravos providing support by fire. It was a great uh, opportunity. Uh, we learned a lot. Here in Israel, uh, IDF, we call ourselves uh, the way of acting, the way of uh, planning, like the Marine Corps. We have the elements, the air element, the fire element, naval, and so on and so forth. And it's very similar to the uh, concept of uh, warfare that the Marine developed during decades. So it's a very, uh, very high privilege of us to learn from the, the knowledge, the experience, the, uh, the way of planning and executing wide work uh, that the uh, Marine Corps bring to the arena. And uh, from our perspective, to, to give the small uh, um, experience that we experience in the urban terrain, in the anti-terror uh, that we have here in, in Israel, uh, through uh, the arenas uh, all over Israel, 
and I think uh, we share from a strategic worldwide uh, uh, experience with the tactics and the uh, uh, very day day to day uh, uh, defending and securing uh, our uh, um, uh, country experience uh, we, we, we both learn from the tactical level to the strategic level and we, with, with depth uh, we get into depth with our uh, knowledge and with our uh, uh, belief in ourselves in our ability to conduct such an operations in, in day to come if we need it.